Meet Through the Pharmacist. I'm a lifestyle coach with over 25 years of practical experience. I'm a wife, a mother, and the author of Farm to Fork Meat Riot. Welcome to my food church. Today we're going to continue our conversation about natural law. So we were talking about consciousness and I just want to go over this part. I think a lot of folks are not really sure what human consciousness actually is. And human consciousness it is basically how often we are aware or conscious about truth, about the truth of the universe. So let's pretend that this black line here, these black lines, these dashes, are the unwavering, never-changing truth. And let's pretend that this is individual A, individual B, and individual C. So these waves are wider, they're longer. This is, and this, this blue line is intersecting less frequently than this blue line up top um, with the black line, okay? So we would call this person, person A, has, having a lower frequency, less frequently intersecting with the truth versus someone who is more frequently intersecting with the truth up here with a higher vibration. So we are vibrational beings, correct? The, this, is, this represents a frequency. I think a lot of folks would understand that. Um, this person B is, you know, kind of middle of the road. Well, what would it be if someone is constantly um, in line with the truth or more aligned with the truth? That would be this. This would, this would look like. If you were aligned with the truth, it would look like this, infinitely aligned with the truth. You know, lining up with truth can be very much like learning how to read. Because walking and operating in truth generally really just requires knowledge. It requires knowledge and then acting based on that knowledge. That's what we're going to be talking about today. So a lot of people, I think, have this idea that for you to have a higher consciousness or you to be more conscious is a very spiritual, obscure thing that you can't really understand like a lot of, or it's different for everybody. This is not true. This is, this is not true. The truth is that you're either aligned with the truth or you're not aligned with the truth. And that is based on knowledge. So if you're not seeking knowledge because you don't want to know the truth because it seems like too much work for you to do today, then that's actually operating or choosing to operate in ignorance. Ignorance is when you have access to knowledge, but you choose not to see it or to learn it. You're ignoring knowledge because you choose not to make the effort to learn, which is operating in ignorance. This is wrong. This is incorrect action as viewed by natural law. So this aligns with lies and immorality. When people are saying that you're living an immoral life, this is what that actually looks like. It means that you choose not to, or you choose to ignore, you choose not to research or know the truth because it's too painful, it's too much, you just can't do it, you know. Um, we've become these lazy uh, followers <laughs> instead of, and listen, I was 100% guilty of this. Um, I talk about it in my book. You know, if you read my book, then you would know that, you know, the first third of this book is about our personal journey. And I tell everybody, I'm like, I was probably the worst one at this. I was the worst at looking things up and really researching them. And, you know, that resulted in our losing a child. And now that I have taken complete and total responsibility for my part, in that, then I had to walk in truth, okay? Truth is morality. That is living, truth aligns with morality versus lies, which line up with immorality. And these were things that I had to reconcile, guys. You know, like a lot of people think that ignorance is what actually is called nescience. Nescience is when you do not know something and no one expects you to know it. For example, I am not an open heart surgeon, 
I don't know what open heart surgeons do. I don't know what that experience is like. I won't speak about, you know, what it's like to be an open heart surgeon or to do open heart surgery. I am not, I don't know how to do that. And I am not expected to know how to do that. I could learn, I could look it up or whatever, but I am not considered ignorant um, because I'm doing something and pretending like I understand open heart surgery. Does that make sense? Um, that is what actual ignorance is. You know, like I try to teach people about the power of food and how to use food as medicine. And a lot of times the first thing that people say is, I can't do that. Oh, I can never stop eating the donuts or the wheat, or the bagels. Um, but the truth is that it's fine to say, I am not going to do that. I am not going to stop eating bagels, even though I know this is what causes my eczema and all my problems. That's fine, because then you're not operating in ignorance. You know what it's, what's causing it, and you choose not to do it. That means that your thoughts your emotions and your actions are all in line with each other. When your thoughts and your emotions and your actions are all in line with each other, then you're operating truthfully and morally. Morality is not um, relative. It is objective, okay? So this is the definition of morality. is It is operating in truth. Immorality is operating in lies. If you're walking the line, if you're that person that just doesn't want to she doesn't want to create any waves, doesn't want to cause any problems, then you are supporting lies because you don't stand for anything, which also means you don't stand for the truth, which means that you are an immoral person operating in lies because you are supporting something that's not true simply because you don't want people to know that you know that it's not true. But when you know it, you know, when they say you know better, you should do better, that's because that would be the moral thing to do. It is my moral responsibility to share this information with you now that I know it because I didn't know it. I didn't know this either, okay? So anyway, no science is when you do not know something and no one expects you to know it. It is in line with truth and morality. Ignorance is when you have access to knowledge. Lord knows we have infinite intelligence, you know, like access to so many places to research. But if you're just ignoring that information, it's immoral. It is immoral and it is operating in lies. And that hurts people. The reason that immorality is a problem is it causes harm. It causes harm to someone when you know that they have diabetes and you're taking cake for them to eat because you think that they love cake and you want to give them cake. But when cake causes their diabetes and you're giving them cake, then you are harming them. You are operating you know, and people don't, you know, like we don't acknowledge this in society, but these are the hard conversations that we need to have for people to understand that we are operating in the world today in so much immorality and so many lies that it is actually hurting humanity. Okay. We have to understand for, for all of this to work, you know, for us to actually be able to live a life that we want to live, do we want to be free? We want to um, operate um, in freedom and in love and, you know, be able to have the abundance that, that we were born worthy of, well, then you have to live a moral life. And how do you do that? You have to honor natural law. These are laws that have side effects or repercussions that are immediate. The consequences for these um, actions are like this. See this? This is gravity. This is the, this is the consequence of defying gravity. It just, you can't, you can't do it. And you have an immediate consequence. So in the same way, when you are operating in lies or when you're operating in truth, there is an immediate consequence. That's based on natural law, friends. That's based on natural law. Okay, so let's talk about the intelligence. This is how the human brain operates, right? The human brain, like we all believe that, you know, you, you have to have an education to be intelligent. Well, a lot of folks think intelligence is only intellect. But intellect is only the right side of the brain. And genere is the left side of the brain. Intelli, 
gents. Intel is the intellectual side of the brain. Gents is the other side of intelligence, holistic intelligence. And on the right side of the brain, this is the feminine side of the brain, okay? The feminine side of the brain is represented by gents, which is um, Latin for genere, which is the generative side of the brain. This is also known as the chalice or the womb. This is the big picture thinking, the pattern recognition, the compassion, caring, creative, creator side of the brain. If you only were to operate in this, this hemisphere of the brain, then you would be more dependent, naive, passive, submissive. You don't, you don't want to be like that, right? You also don't want to be uh, dominant, controlling, and selfish. That's the intellectual side of the brain which is analytical, mathematical, scientific, logic. But if you're holistically operating, if you're holistically operating with like holistic intelligence, then that is when you're operating in your highest moral self, in your highest level of grace, of knowing, of, you know, like balance. And it's more possible for you to line up your thoughts, your emotions, and your actions, which actually allows you to create your own reality, create your own world. So this is a very important aspect of human consciousness. I want you to take home some few, you know, really important points about this is that consciousness is based on knowledge, knowledge that has been hidden from us that makes people believe that the only way for you to be conscious is you know some mysterious spiritual practice that you have to have you know that's magical and it works for some people and not everybody when the truth is that actually it is just about how often you are lining up with truth and not lies okay and truth remember is aligned with morality and lies are aligned with immorality and we don't want to walk the line because when you walk the line, that's counted as a lie because you're not speaking and supporting the truth that you know. Finally, we don't want to operate in ignorance. Don't ignore knowledge. We have so much access to information these days. So there's no reason for you to just simply choose to ignore it and still think that you are operating in truth or in morality. All right, friends, I really hope that this video is helping. Um, if these conversations are the type of thing that you want to continue to hear more about, give me a like, you know, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my Instagram, um, ding the little bell, do all the things, you know, um, and just let me know. I really am interested in hearing your comments down below, you know, and join me on Thursdays at noon. I'm going live um, on my YouTube channel these days. And I'm trying to go live on Rumble as well and Odyssey. Some days it works, some days it doesn't work. But anyway, try to jump in and join me there. And, you know, participate in the conversation. Get involved. Tell me what you think. What do you think about what I'm sharing with you about natural law? All right, guys.